Hello, I'm Fritz Durst, and I'm the chair of the Sites Reservoir JPA. I'm here today to communicate with you uh, our path forward. We, uh, we're very excited that we have uh, had some recent changes here, and it's going to benefit and make affordable water for all of our participants. Uh, participants being uh, water users here in Northern California, as well as folks in the Central Valley and urban districts uh, in San Francisco, area, the Bay Area, and south of the Tehachapi's as well. We're committed to see that this project is a benefit for everyone, including the environment, which is very unique. There has been no project in the past with a dedicated supply for the environment. The project's strength lies in our participants, who represent local counties where the project is located, along with cities and water and irrigation districts throughout the Sacramento, San Joaquin Valleys, uh, the Bay Area, and Southern California. Through this spirit of teamwork and regional collaboration, Great progress has been made in advancing the Sites Reservoir. I believe strongly that Sites Reservoir offers a unique and generational opportunity to construct a multi-benefit water storage project that helps restore flexibility, reliability, and resiliency to our statewide water supply and provide a dedicated supply of water for environmental purposes. Again, our board has recently made some changes to right-size the project, along with adjustments in the leadership of our team. Our board recently conducted an organizational assessment and what we learned was we needed to better communicate with the world and our participants this project. We thus created an executive director position and brought on board a great person with statewide knowledge of water and folks involved with water and that person is Jerry Brown, former general manager of the Contra Costa Water District. I'd like for Jerry now to share with you the right sized project. Hi, I'm Jerry Brown, Executive Director for the Sites Project Authority, which is a joint powers authority comprised of water agencies and irrigation districts from across the state of California, all with the common goal of advancing the Sites Reservoir Project as a water storage solution for California. When I joined the Sites Project Authority in March 2020, I saw the tremendous potential of Sites Reservoir as a generational project with unique environmental water supply, and flood protection benefits for millions of Californians. The Sites Reservoir Project aligns with statewide water priorities, including the Governor's Water Resilience Portfolio, and serves as the multi-benefit water storage solution we need in the Sacramento Valley for California's future. We really look forward to having more discussions with you about the project and sharing information so that we can have a robust discussion at our upcoming town hall meetings. If you're interested in submitting discussion questions in advance of the town hall meetings, please email them to info at sitesproject.org. As water providers, irrigation districts and farmers, it is prudent to plan for the worst case scenario. Many water agencies throughout the state are diversifying their water supplies, boosting local sources, recycling water, and cleaning up and storing groundwater. We don't need to worry as much during the wet years, but what about in the dry years or consecutive dry years? Having a source of water that is banked and saved for dry periods is critical. Sites Reservoir offers just that. It provides flexibility, reliability, and resiliency. Sites Reservoir is flexible because this water is reserved specifically for those participating in the project to use whenever and however it's needed. It is also reliable because once the water is stored, it will be there when you need it. And Sites Reservoir creates a resilient water supply because it is designed with climate change in mind. The project actually performs best during the toughest climate change conditions when other sources of water may be strained. This type of forward-thinking project is a rare once-in-a-generation opportunity. Sites captures and stores stormwater flows from the Sacramento River after all other water rights and regulatory requirements are met for primary use in dry and critical years, for environmental uses, and for California communities, farms, and businesses when it's so desperately needed. Sites will be cooperatively managed in conjunction with both the State Water Project and the Central Valley Project, 
and will greatly increase the flexibility, reliability, and resiliency of statewide water supplies in dry years for environmental, agricultural, and urban uses. One of the key attributes is the diverse group of agencies participating in and supporting Sites Reservoir. For one thing, it speaks to the flexibility of the project. An irrigation district in the Sacramento Valley and an urban water agency in Southern California have very different needs, but Sites Reservoir offers benefits that are uniquely important to each individual participant. We have agencies from rural Sac Valley down to the Bay Area and all the way into Southern California. With 28 participating agencies, water from Sites Reservoir has the potential to serve 24 million people businesses, and 500,000 acres of farmland throughout California. Last year, we took a very careful look at Sites Reservoir with feedback from our participants, regulatory agencies, local landowners, and stakeholders. Could the project, as proposed, meet the individual needs of our participants, both in yield and cost? Was it providing much needed environmental benefits? Was it permittable? We listened to the feedback and went through a comprehensive value planning effort to ensure that Sites Reservoir could deliver to all Californians. So where did this value planning effort land us? We now have before us a right-sized project. There are three primary areas of change in the project. First, the reservoir size was reduced to one and a half million acre feet with a smaller footprint that costs less than the original proposal reductions to impacts on the environment, and the new alternative identifies opportunities to benefit key natural resources while providing a tremendous amount of flexibility to manage the project for the greatest overall benefit to the state. Second, we made a major conveyance change to the project with the elimination of the Delavan pipeline. Sites will use the existing Glen Calusa Irrigation District and Tehama Calusa Canal Authority canals to move water between Sites Reservoir and the Sacramento River. Finally, we eliminated the pump back storage energy generation system. When we looked at the business case for this element, it just didn't pencil out. On average, Sites Reservoir would generate about 240,000 acre feet on an average annual basis of new water supplies for the participants in the project, as noted in the table in the left of the slide. Previously, the project had the capability of about 500,000 acre feet. Sites is a dry year project, which is illustrated by the table in the lower left of the slide. In dry years, that goes up to as much as 385,000 acre feet per year. Again, our goal is to provide water to our participants and the environment when it's needed most. For all participants, including the state of California, the amount of water available to them is directly tied to the amount of their investment. This is being developed under the beneficiary pays principle. You will note that the table describes a 40,000 acre foot placeholder for state benefits to fulfill the environmental portion of the public benefits determined by the California Water Commission through the Proposition 1 Water Storage Investment Program or WESEP process. We believe we have a better project today than we did last year, a project that reflects input from you, our participants, NGOs, landowners, and other stakeholders like regulatory agencies and elected officials. The changes we made were substantial enough to require review and recirculation of our environmental analysis and the environmental impact report, which we anticipate to be released next year. Yes, this lengthens our overall timeline, but ultimately this project is more responsive to today's realities and as such is more likely to succeed. Another benefit of the right size project is a cost savings of roughly $2 billion. This translates to improved affordability for all participants. At approximately $600 per acre foot, the unit cost of water from the project gets to a level of being very competitive with other new supply alternatives with similar resiliency. Both refinements in the project itself, as well as aggressive pursuit of available low interest funding, will ensure that we are being as prudent as possible with our members' investments. This would be a good place to highlight our assumptions for federal involvement. The current assumptions illustrate full subscription at the local and state level. However, 
We are having discussions with the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation about their interest and participation in the project, which could create added benefits for the environment and Central Valley project operational flexibility. If an agreement can be reached, any federal funding made available would offset local dollars and or supplement state funding. We are on track to deliver this vital project for the people of California. Funding for the next phase of the project's development will cover activities from September 2020 to December 2021. We have $31 million budgeted for planned work activities, which includes cost sharing between project participants, state funding, and federal funding. We've talked about Sites Reservoir as a great example of the multi-benefit project California will be focusing on in the coming years. But what does that mean? As an off-stream reservoir, Sites doesn't build any big new dams and it does not block native fish migration. It provides flexibility for state and federal water agencies to manage environmental water in a way that makes sense. It's completely adaptable for current and future conditions and priorities. Sites Reservoir is ready for climate change. Our modeling shows that when conditions are tough, Sites Reservoir becomes even more valuable as a supply of dry year water. It will be available when you need it the most. The project also provides key recreational and flood control benefits. Let's talk a little bit more about the environmental benefits that come from Sites Reservoir. A significant portion of the Sites Reservoir annual water supplies will be dedicated to environmental uses. Sites is creating an environmental water asset for the state by providing water and dedicated storage for environmental needs that does not currently exist, providing flexible resources to provide environmental water to the right place at the right time. And while the state will always have the flexibility to use environmental water when and how it needs it, there are a few things the water from sites will directly do. It will help improve conditions for the Delta smelt. It will help preserve cold water pools in Lake Shasta later in the summer months to support salmon development, spawning, and rearing. It will provide a reliable supply of refuge water to improve Pacific flyway habitat for migratory birds and other species. The new right size project has also assumed restrictive bypass flow conditions that provide highly protective conditions for diverting water from the Sacramento River. An elimination of the Delavan pipeline as a new point of diversion on the Sacramento River puts all diversions at existing locations with proven state of the art fish screens at Red Bluff and Hamilton City. While Sites Reservoir is a statewide project, it brings several regional benefits for the Sacramento Valley where the reservoir would operate. For a flood prone area, the flood control benefits are significant. Sites Reservoir will be able to capture and store the floodwaters that would typically impact the community of Maxwell, near where Sites Reservoir is located. And more broadly, it will lessen the impacts of floods by capturing storm flows that would otherwise overwhelm local flood control facilities. These are also elements of the statewide benefit being paid for by the WESIP Prop 1 dollars. California needs a resilient water supply and Sites Reservoir can play a critical role in securing just that. When Governor Newsom laid out his administration's vision for a resilient water future, Sites was one of two projects called out by name. Sites Reservoir is truly a project of this next generation. It's designed with climate change in mind. It's multi-benefit. It emphasizes regional, statewide, and federal partnerships. It provides local benefits like flood control, job creation, and recreation to the community where it will be built. And it is a path to reliable, flexible water supplies for the long term. The recreation component is also a statewide benefit and is being paid for with the WESIP Prop 1 dollars. We still have work to do, but we're on track to move forward and deliver this project. Most of our work over the next 18 months is geared to completing the necessary deliverables to comply with Prop 1 deadlines. In addition, for project participants to make their funding decisions by the end of next year, we need to advance the project and address the uncertainties. Beyond the next 18 months, our schedule is to be in construction by 2023 and be complete and in operation by 2030. We are looking forward to a busy year ahead in order to meet these aggressive timelines, but we are optimistic that the Sites Reservoir Project has been right-sized to meet the needs of our member agencies and the environment. 
We welcome you to join us for a conversation about the site's reservoir and look forward to answering your questions.